New Mexico's government destroyed the firearm from Alec Baldwin's fatal shooting on Rust's set, the actor's attorney has claimed. Baldwin's lawyer Alex Spiro levied the claim against Santa Fe during a virtual hearing on Thursday. He said, I think I should tell the court that the firearm in this case, that's a great subject of it, was destroyed by the state. Spiro went on to argue this was an issue as he said he wanted to see what remains of the firearm. Donald Trump to publish private letters from Princess Diana and Oprah in explosive book Santa Fe District Attorney Mary Carmack Altwees refused to dispute the claim at any time during the proceedings. The court later addressed scheduling matters for future proceedings. Baldwin's lawyers appeared in court alongside attorneys representing Rust Armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. The court appearance comes after cinematographer Hina Hutchins was killed in an on-set shooting when Baldwin fired a live round from a gun he was using during a rehearsal in 2021. Director Joel Souza was also injured during the incident. Baldwin and Gutierrez-Reed pleaded not guilty to a charge of involuntary manslaughter over the fatal shooting in February. Meghan and Harry may have new Sussex tradition after christening, exclusive, Meghan and Harry step up public outings to prove they're not rattled, revealed, Senator Mulling fumes with Teamsters Chief O'Brien in fiery clash, insight, the pair were also handed a victory when prosecutors dropped a sentencing enhancement which raised the possibility of five years behind bars, with Baldwin claiming it was unconstitutional. The movie is thought to be due to resume filming again in Montana in the near future, The Independent has claimed. Melting